And welcome back. Inspiration coming our way in the form of Simon Donato. Good to meet you, sir. <laughs> Likewise. Thank you. The Boundless Life, 13 Lessons Learned the Hard Way. Congrats on this brand new book. Uh, what a journey you've had. Nice beard game right here, too. <laughs> this is it. The life of uh, an adventure seeker, the adventure races. Um, how did you get into this lifestyle of uh, ultra marathons and adventure races? It certainly wasn't me when I was younger. It was a more of a, qual a crawl, walk, run scenario. I mean, I hated running when I was a kid. I love team sports, though, and if I had some place to go, I could run there. You know, if I was going to my friend's place down the street, I would run. But it was really as uh, team sports kind of faded in my early 20s, and I was looking for that next thing to kind of satisfy the craving for competition, that I just fell in with a running club. So I never really stepped outside of the team element. That's what makes it fun for me. And that's, you know, with Boundless, it's a, you know, we're kind of racing as a team, even though they're independent races usually. Myself, Turbo, Rory, Hunter, you know, there's that camaraderie, and that really helps when it uh, gets tough. Well, for fans of the docuseries Boundless, I remember reading Mark Burnett's book, Dare to Succeed, back in the day. He talked about Equal Challenge, the right. adventures in Borneo. Uh, it has come a long way, but the mental strength required to survive truly stands out and the lessons you outline in this uh, in this book are interesting one of which being people are afraid of success explain how this type of race can teach you that lesson well, it kind of broke through the barrier for me with respect to re realizing and recognizing your potential. So I I'm sure we've all been in that place where, you know, you feel that you can do more, you want to do more. It's, it's inside you just kind of burning away, but you don't know how to unleash it. And uh, it, it just happened to be a running race where, you know, I was fit, I was running well, but there was a, a runner just ahead of me. I mean, I was right on his heels. And I knew he was a faster runner than me. I mean, he had beat me badly just, you know, half a year before. So in my mind, uh, I threw up a roadblock saying, all right, why, even though you feel like you can run faster than him now, don't go because he's just going to crush you later. So if he's already faster than you, you know, see if you can stick with him, right? Kind of just go with the flow. And I think that's, I've fallen into that trap many times in my life and other aspects. But you know, at that moment, I just said, you know, kind of screw it. I'm going to go for it. I really feel good right now. I just dropped the hammer and went and, you know, I ended up beating him by about five minutes or so after 35K of running. So I didn't think I could do it at the time. But breaking the barrier was getting over that hurdle of uh, fearing of, of going all in for success and making that, you know, singular commitment to go after it. And I'm sure he loves hearing you tell this story of how he got defeated, but such a great life lesson. <laughs> uh, I don't think he knows. Uh, in the book itself, you outline some terrific uh, races, even for amateurs to get involved in the adventure race circuit. Right. What would you say is a great race to truly start if people uh, just want to whet their appetite with this lifestyle? Uh, well, I mean, it d depends what you're into. If you want an excellent... Um, if you want an excellent running race, I mean, there, there's a lot of good ones in Canada. There's a lot of iconic ones in Canada. I outline the Canadian Death Race as being one of the bigger iconic ones. That sounds but, optimistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it gets 1,500 racers a year. There's Sinister Seven. I mean, they all have uh, kind of scary, daunting names. Although um, there's the Fat Dog uh, in BC as well, which is growing in popularity. I think so I'm up for Fat Dog. That sounds like that's more of my alley. Yeah, but I mean, it, it really depends what you want. Do you want that big adventure? experience that's gonna you know take you out of your comfort zone give you some exotic travel at the same time or do you want to kind of get into it gradually so so many so many options this is the, the whole uh, genre has just blown up since Mark Burnett really introduced eco challenge to North America back in God, like 95. Yeah, can't believe it's been two decades. Well, listen, this guide is a great book for the adventure seekers out there. Maybe it's something you want to pick up. It is an absolute pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, yeah, likewise. It's been fun. Yeah, keep Thanks. pushing hard. Uh